Now, following uh, Donald Trump's ban on mug Muslim uh, migrants, refugees, and travelers from seven different Middle Eastern countries, leading to the detention of said migrants, uh, the American people immediately decided, no, we're not going to stand for that. We're going to go and we're going to protest. Now, of course, protests did erupt all over the country, 40 different uh, cities, when stories of travelers, some of which were green card holders and dual citizens, many with, of course, jobs, homes, and lives here in America, were detained by the TSA to be deported back to those countries. Now, in fact, the New York Times is reporting that tens of thousands of people uh, occupied airports in solidarity against the Donald Trump ban. And you have protests in New York, Washington, D.C., Dallas, San Francisco, L.A., Detroit, Boston, Phoenix, and many others. In fact, I want to give you guys a couple of pictures here uh, for context. Uh, these two are from New York. One's from a march at J or I'm sorry, a march in New York, and the other is in uh, the JFK airport. So, so let me show you these. So that right there is a picture of the crowd inside JFK. That's a big crowd, man. <laughs> that, mm -hmm. That's huge. And then the next one we've got here is a picture of the protest march against the uh, Muslim ban. So as you can see, it's it's a pretty robust thing that's going on here. Um, this is this is resistance, man. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty inspiring to see. I mean, I I, I know that. Um that LA, like a, a lot of my friends went down to that and a lot of people were out there. Some of my friends were participating in the Seattle one. Uh, I was not able to make it unfortunately yesterday, but, uh, but you know, if it continues, I'm, you know, I'm going to try to get down there. Although LAX is always a nightmare no matter what you're there to do. But, um, I think it was great. I mean, I, I saw this, um, this one really popular meme that's been circling around and it was a photo of somebody holding a sign, uh, and the sign said, uh, first they came for the Muslims and we said, not today, motherfucker. And, uh, <laughs> I, I thought that was great. I thought I that, that was great. Kudos to the person holding that sign. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there was more than one of them, but there was like one particular one that really went viral. And then I guess people probably started making more, um, but you know, man, and, and I'll say this to like add another, like, like just, uh, experience to it. Um, as far as what's going on. I was uh, I was going on a walk just today, just about an hour ago, and there was this guy holding his phone, and he had it on speaker because I guess he needed to have it on speaker. He didn't have headphones or whatever, and you know you couldn't help but hear it. And he was on the phone waiting to leave a message for his congressperson, and he was getting looks of encouragement and thumbs up from everybody that walked by him, including myself. And this is stuff that's not super commonplace. You know, it, it's not common for that uh, amount of political activism to be the norm. And well, not here in America, think, huh? Well, not here in America. I mean, like right. in other places, like for example, like in France, you drop like you, you are. I'm sorry, you add like a couple of hours to the you know French work week, and they're out in the streets. Sacre bleu! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take no, over. That's true, and, and that's why they have you know weeks and weeks of paid maternity leave. That's why they have the best healthcare system in the world. Are, are you uh, saying there actually is a bit of a, a right wing uh, rise going on there? I believe, um, but but yeah, I mean, I, I see your point, and, and that's something that uh, that is a trend. Like the more um, the places that have the most kind of political astuteness that that are also democratic experiments like ours. Uh, get positive results because of that. So, I mean, this trend is really, really special and, and hopefully the start of a much better tomorrow in a weird idiot savant-esque way. Uh, maybe this administration really is going to make America great, just not <laughs> in the way they thought they were going to and not in the short run. Maybe it's make America pissed off again. Right. I mean, is. totally. Like, you got to get mad, right? Yeah. I mean, network. Yeah, and you know it's interesting seeing all of this activism that's out here. It's it's really amazing. Again, going back to, I mean, you said there is a little bit of a right wing rise in France. Well, why is that? Well, there is right wing populism as well. And mm -hmm. guess what? Populism kind of popular. That's also part of what drove Brexit too. Then a complete lack of understanding about what Brexit was really about, but it was still a popular uprising 
because people were like, "Hey, I, I don't I don't want the elites uh, to be in control of things. Hey, I, I actually want you know jobs here and, and all that stuff." And you have unscrupulous politicians that are like, "Okay, vote for me and I'll do that, sucker." Mm -hmm. So I love yeah, and and you know now that people are realizing, I'm sorry. Oh no, nothing. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, now that people are realizing that they, they bought snake oil populism with Trump, uh, it, it will make way for true populism to occur in, in 2018 and then hopefully even furthermore in 2020. Right. If the Democrats wake up. If the Democrats wake up. And that's, yeah, that's a shame a really we still have to say question. if. But. Right. That's a big question when it comes to the Democrats because it seems like they haven't learned a damn thing. But I do want to mention there were some Democrats that were actually out there doing something, which is kind of amazing. And uh, there was actually Elizabeth Warren that showed up. I know. Uh, showed up with John Lewis. You had Pramila J. Appel, uh, And you even had Hillary Clinton coming out of the woods to tweet about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw she tweeted about it. She wasn't there. But she, she wasn't there. It. Can't give her that much credit. But apparently in the cabin where she's hiding... There might be a there's there's some Wi-Fi there so or maybe a hotspot set up. <laughs> so she. Well, can I mean, I, honestly, the best thing she could do for the country, and this isn't I'm not trying to bash Hillary even, but you know, it's just the truth at this point. The best thing she could do is kind of stay away. Yeah. At this point. Yeah, that's true. But again, like this this entire ban, I mean, it's driving everybody crazy. And it should because this entire thing is abhorrent. It is a religious test. And I was talking about that. I mean, some of the reports, and, and I can't really say this is 100% verified, but, um, I mean, you do have, uh, like, these uh, the, the TSA agents instituting these tests for migrants or people with dual citizenship. Um, in fact, you have... Uh, reports that are claiming that these agents want to look at your social media if you're coming from one of these countries let me take a look at your facebook let me take a look at you know what you've been tweeting what kind of groups you belong in and, and you know all that different stuff and also asking the their views on america and donald trump what's your views i feel on like i wouldn't pass this test none of us would i feel like they'd be like you're out go away <laughs> Yeah, go back to go back to your home country. Well, I guess I'm gonna go back to Europe. Me, I'd go back to Austria. Wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, I guess I would have to go back to Italy, um, which which in some ways would be cool. But I, I think for, for for practicality sake and work sake, I'd I'd be better off uh, in England True. or something like that. True. And again, remember that this this entire ban to banned people originally. Uh, with work visas. And so, look, the whole thing is, so the point is, this is, this, is, this is the beginning of the elimination of America as a country that accepts all different types of people from all different walks of life. And to be honest, this whole thing is not even based on facts or truth. I mean, it's based on lies told for political gain. And that's all it's there for. I mean, none of the countries that we've banned travel from have attacked the United States. None of their citizens have attacked the United States, at least not successfully. And yet, for the past decade, we have been bombing them with drones. The Obama administration has been bombing a lot of these countries. Yemen, for example, Somalia. The drones have been flying. People are afraid because the predator drones are going to come for them. You know, U.S.-made drones. It kind of seems like we're the ones inflicting terror onto them. You know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know. And Donald Trump is, of course, continuing. Is Donald Trump suspending the drone program? Hell no, he's not. No, Are you of course kidding not. Me? I mean, he'll likely expand it. It's going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of spreading democracy. Indeed. Indeed. Which is it's, code for they have oil and we want it. It's, it's, it basically, it's a continuation of, of, of the stuff that he said he was not going to do. So... Congratulations, America. And look, that's why people are out there. That's why there are these massive protests, because what he's doing right now is patently, at this point, un-American, even though we as America do have a kind of sad history of keeping out immigrants and migrants and for stupid racist reasons. So 
Maybe it's not so yeah. American after all, but I like to believe in the better version of America, the America that does welcome people, the the America where we have that inscription on the uh, on on the Statue of Liberty. You know, give us your tired poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, and uh, we'll let them in. That's obviously well, yeah, not and, a, and, and to kind of tie it into something positive again. You know, you mentioned drone strikes and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, hopefully, and not right this moment because of all the executive orders that are going on and stuff like that, but now that a lot of people are really paying attention and a lot of people are really getting mad, that's something else that a big light will be shown on because, you know, I mean, it wasn't super uncommon when you're, you're talking about Obama with somebody and, and being like, yeah, you know, the, the biggest, one of the biggest disappointments is, is the drone strikes or stuff like that, and they, they kind of look at you uh, like they don't know what you're talking about. That kind of really went under the radar yeah. Uh, for a long time, but now that Trump's doing it, a much less popular president already, uh, and his popularity is only going to decline more and more. Um, you know, there there might be some much needed light shown on a lot of stuff, and and you know, hopefully the public outcry really keeps up and, and keeps up the momentum. Yeah, and you know, um, somebody that you work with all the time, Jimmy Dore, kept bringing up that whole thing. The Democrats yeah. were asleep. Uh, you know, President Obama, while President Obama was president, he put the, the left to sleep. They didn't talk about this stuff. You know, they didn't talk about the drones. They didn't talk about the extra uh, extrajudicial killings of, of people, the signature strikes. There are very few outlets that covered this stuff. And now that Donald Trump is president, the left has suddenly decided to wake up. So, you know, more and more I'm starting to, to like go back and look at Jimmy and be like, that guy nailed it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent, non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.